Technique Tommy, dad, offshore mechanic, and self-proclaimed handyman, has decided to make a barbecue out of a big oil barrel that he's had lying around for a long time. His wife and kids are, with good reason, more skeptical than thrilled when dad fires up the blowtorch and asks everyone else to stand back. Technique Tommy has worked offshore for many years and is used to working with personal protective equipment, wearing flame-resistant work trousers, gloves, a welding mask, and protective shoes. He eagerly gets started with the welding, yet there's something that has been forgotten. How is it possible that offshore mechanic Tommy has made such a mistake? A seemingly empty oil barrel shouldn't just explode like that, surely? It doesn't take much, and in this case, it was the tiny splash of paraffin left in the barrel that made the difference. Seemingly harmless, yes, but when Technique Tommy began to weld the metal, the temperature inside the barrel rose. The liquid quickly turned into gas. When the gas rises and mixes with just the right amount of air, all that is needed is a small spark to create an explosion. So, what actually happened? Spark or not, to create an explosion, there must be the correct ratio mixture between the gas and oxygen. If there is too much gas, i.e. the mixture is too oily, then it will not ignite. If there is too little gas, i.e. the mixture is too thin, then it will not ignite. Within a certain gas-oxygen ratio, there is explosion range. In this range, all it takes is a spark to create a fire or explosion. This is known as the lower explosion limit and can be abbreviated to LEL. 50% LEL is tense but safe, 98% is dangerously close, and 100% can cause an explosion. The explosion range is different for each type of gas, depending on the properties of the gas. Being aware of which elements help to create an explosion can be of a great help in preventing one. The explosion pentagon describes the factors that must be present to create an explosion. If you manage to eliminate one of the elements, you remove the risk of explosion. This can be done, for example, by regulating the ratio between oxygen and gas. And that's what we call safe thinking. One way of doing this is called purging. This is a technique where you either fill the tank or container with gas, commonly nitrogen, to squeeze out the oxygen or gas. Technique Tommy gained painful experience of the powers of a small splash of paraffin. To the naked eye, it's impossible to see how close you are to LEL, unless you have a gas detector. But they got a barbecue in the end. And fortunately, it was only Technique Tommy who felt the shock that day.